In the previous video, I made this beard using the new hair system and I'm gonna try to use it now to create the big braids for this character you can see down here. And I'm gonna change some settings so everything works better for me. Disabling some of the viewport visibility for the um, modifiers. Clicking the character, Shift A at a curve, empty hair and I'm gonna disable it immediately the the surface deform for the viewport control tab sculpt mode click on add and count to 10 I'm gonna lower the size of the brush and add some hair here this is about where this uh, braid is uh, growing from Let's say something like that, maybe another click here. And snake hook brush, bigger brush size. I'm using the mouse because it's working just fine. I don't really need the pen tablet for this. And uh, moving the hair with the snake brush, snake hook brush. Sort of like I have in the reference photo, it's uh, I'm still not being very accurate. I can still move things around later. Maybe just a little bit with the comb brush. And you can enable the um, collision here so it's less intersecting with your character. Okay, this is good for now. Next thing, I want to add control tab, object mode. I'm going to start adding the hair stuff. So the modifiers uh, clicking and dragging this to here, curve profile, making sure the surface deform is lowest all the time. I'm going to change the radius to 0.0005. And I'll change the rest of the settings later. And generation interpolate hair curves. Click, drag it, drop it, and move this up. Clicking the eyedropper and the character, you need your UVs. Make sure you got your UVs, uh, UV map. And change this to points, point 0.01 for now and get some more density so 5000 for now and um, I'll put the viewport amount to 0.1 and I'll go up to 50,000 if your computer can handle more you can go up more with the viewport amount I'm gonna go up to 1 because I have a pretty decent graphic card now uh, one thing I want to say if you haven't seen the recent video um, If you don't see the hair thickness you want to go to the render properties all the way down to curves Change it to 3d curves and strip So back to the modifiers now. I want to change the hair thickness to The shape you see it's getting thin, but it's getting thin pretty pretty up here, so too early. I'm gonna move, move, change it to 0.1 so it's thing at the tip and um, even change the minimum to 0.5 yeah that's, this is fine. Adding the next thing guides and braid hair curves. Again move it up and I'm gonna leave it like this for now what is this? Okay. Um, uncheck the existing guide map. I'm gonna change it to 0.5. Okay, and I'm gonna leave it like that. Now, what you don't see is um, if you go to the render settings go back again to curves you have additional subdivisions if you can go up to three you actually see 
what's going on here? You see it was like on zero, was it? And another thing, back to the modifiers, up the subdivisions here. And three. Okay, now we can actually see what happens here. Now you see it's getting pretty thin and I want to change it so it's thick pretty much all the way through so um, the shape will be 0.1 I think. Yep, yeah, that looks way better. And that looks pretty good. Maybe I'll change the thickness, the radius to 0.15 if that's okay. No, it's too much, 0.12. That's alright, and you have here the frequency, this is at 1, if you go 0 0.1, so maybe 0 0.5, you get much longer curves, so I'm actually going to leave it at 1, this is fine for me, but I will change the thickness shape, so it's, it's you see how it's sticking out, not like this character, so if you want to see even more of that, I'm going to go up with the thickness shape. This is way too much, so I'm going to go thickness shape, 0.1. This is fine, starting to look like I want. And the flare, that's the end of it, just like the reference photo here. So, um, the length, I'll try to put it on 0.2, uh, not enough, let's go 0.4, that's better, I think, I think this is not too bad, mm, let's try to dial the thickness, 0.8, Maybe that's better, I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay, I'll leave it like this. And now I'll add some noise. So, deformation, hair noise. Yeah, uh, it's really heavy, the whole process. You really need a good uh, computer, so I'm checking the, this cumulative offset and I uh, want to preserve the length, so I'll check this and I just want a little bit of noise, so maybe uh, I'll see what happens if I put it on 0.1 distance, so this is a bit too much, but I want to see what happens when I change the settings, so Let's see the shape at point 0.1 or point 0.9. Yeah, so point 0.9 I think is a bit... I'm not sure actually. Let's go point 0.5 so we really see what happens. Okay, what a mess. Point 0.1 with the shape. Yeah, wow. Scale 0.5, scale 0.1, yeah, need to do a lot of tweaking here. I'm back with shape as 0.1 and 0.01 for distance, and let's see now, if I check this one, the viewport, you can see it's pretty subtle. I'm gonna leave it like that. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, way too much. And um, I'll lower the factor to 0.4, 2.5. I'll just leave it like that and add 
freeze hair curves. This is just like noise, but it's more fuzzy. And again, let's see the shape. Point, point one. Yeah, it's all along the curve, all along the hair. If I go point nine, I don't see what what happened actually. Okay, and now, yeah, so I still want to preserve, this is pretty wild, uh, preserve the length, and uncheck the cumulative offset, 0 0.01, distance, and shape. Let's go point 0.1 and point zero 0.02 with the distance. Yeah, okay, so this is more the direction. And I just want a little bit less of the factor. Maybe even point 0.4. Okay, so just so you know if you want to render this and it's just for the sake of modeling if you apply all the modifiers it's going to render much faster that's uh, something that uh, you would like to know and everything you do you just want to disable some modifiers so everything works faster in the viewport or the render so i'm gonna do the other one and i'll show you the result in a minute this is the final render and there is another angle here and that's it pretty much i hope you enjoyed it and learned something new and if you have any questions let me know thanks for watching